हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फंक्शंस ऑफ ए कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल वी विल आल्सो जनरलाइज द कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ लिमिट एंड कंटिन्यूटी फ्रॉम रियल वेरिएबल टू कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल सो लेट अस क्विकली गो थ्रू द मीनिंग ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स फंक्शन सो सपोज एस इज एनी सबसेट ऑफ ए कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लेन और एस बी एनी सबसेट ऑफ द सेट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स देन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फंक्शन एफ ऑन एस सो ए फंक्शन एफ ऑन दिस सेट एस इज ए रूल विच असाइंस ए कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर डब्ल्यू टू इच कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर जेड इन कैपिटल एस ए रूल विच असाइंस to each z in capital s a complex number w is called a function f on s the number w is called the value of f at point z and is denoted by f of z okay, so w equal to f of z so w is called the image of z under function f and the set the set capital s is called the domain of f suppose we consider f of z equal to z square then this function is defined for each point z in the complex plane so the domain of this function is the whole complex plane and the set of all values of a function f is called the range of f so range of f means the set of all values f of z where z is in the domain so let us observe one note suppose we consider z equal to x plus i y then because z is a function of x and y f of z will also depend on x and y now suppose w is u plus i v w is also a complex number so suppose real part of w is u and imaginary part of w is v now since w depends on z and z depends on x and y w also depends on x and y and since w depends on x and y u and v will also depend on x and y that means u and v r functions of x and y so we can write any com complex function in this form u x y plus i into v x y where u and v are real functions of two variables x and y let us take one example to understand this find real and imaginary parts of f of z equal to 1 upon 1 minus z so we start by taking z equal to x plus i y so before that you can decide that at which points z this function is defined so we know that this 1 minus z becomes 0 if z equal to 1 so function is undefined at z equal to 1 and it is defined at every point which is different from z equal to 1 that means the domain of this function is the complex plane which is not containing complex number 1 so let z equal to x plus i y and we put z equal to x plus i y in 1 upon 1 minus z so we obtain 1 upon 1 minus x minus i y now we multiply numerator and denominator by conjugate of 1 minus x minus i y which is 1 minus x plus i y so multiplying numerator and denominator by 1 minus x plus i y so we have 1 minus x plus i y here and here 1 minus x minus i y into 1 minus x plus i y so it will be square of 1 minus x minus square of i y so this remains as it is 
वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर एज इट इज हियर आई विल ऑप्टेन आई स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर एंड इफ आई पुट आई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू माइनस वन आई विल हैव माइनस माइनस प्लस सो वाई स्क्वायर सो दिस नाउ वी एक्सपांड दिस इट इज गोइंग टू बी वन माइनस टू एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर सो इफ वी सेपरेट देन वी विल हैव वन माइनस एक्स अपन दिस दैट इज रियल पार्ट and similarly y divided by denominator x square plus y square minus 2x plus 1 so this is imaginary part of f of z so real part of f is 1 minus x upon x square plus y square minus 2x plus 1 and similarly this is imaginary part of f now we are asked to calculate real and imaginary parts at point 1 minus i so if you compare 1 minus i with x plus i y you will have x equal to 1 and y equal to minus 1 so we put x equal to 1 y equal to minus 1 in real and imaginary parts so here x equal to 1 will give you 0 upon this non zero number okay so real part of f is 0 okay because 0 divided by this is going to be 1 Similarly, if I put x equal to one, y equal to minus one, so y is minus one, and what is x? X is one. So y is minus one and x is one. So one plus one minus two plus one. So it is going to be minus one. Okay, so in this way we can find out real and imaginary parts of any complex function. Okay, we can try this also. First, I have to start by taking z equal to x plus i y. Then, after simplification, we can find out real and imaginary parts. Similarly, here you have to calculate real part of f and imaginary part of f at point eight i. Okay, so first you take z equal to x plus i y and simplify this and then find out real and imaginary parts okay so this is about complex functions in the next lecture we will discuss limit and continuity of complex functions thank you very much